Hi, my name is Luke Rogers, and I'm just going to do a very quick Blender tutorial um, just to show you how you can achieve a, a kind of cell shaded look with Blender. Um, the look I'm going for is something kind of akin to uh, Wind Waker, Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, that kind of look. It's, if, you, if you take a look at it, it's very two tone, um, very stylized, and, and quite cool, and something that's um, yeah, that I think is, is really great and I love working with Blender so for me this is a great way to achieve that look so I'm just going to take a look, most of this model, this quick little model I've got from a, a game I'm working on here um, if I just do a, a render now you'll see that most of it is in fact kind of already, I've already applied the effect that I'm going to show you, um, but if you look at his his face here, it's quite shiny and plastic looking. Um, I think these are pretty much the default settings that, that you'll see for material properties. Um, so we're going to go ahead and change that now. So I've got his head selected there. Um, now the obvious thing to do to get a kind of cartoon style would be to s flick that onto Tune. Uh, and put this specular shader model onto tune. So that first one there was the diffuse shader model. Um, this is over here in the material properties section. And you've got kind of a preview there um, on good old Suzanne showing you what it's going to look like. And we just do a render. We'll see that we have indeed made progress. So there you go, you can start to see he looks a bit less um, plasticky and a bit more cartoon style, so that's pretty good. Um, but what I'm after is a really kind of two-tone look, so what we want to do is I'm actually going to take out specular completely by setting the intensity to naught. Now you could take out the specular aspect of, um, of the light source that you're using, um, but I'd rather do it in the material because there are certain materials where I do want a specular even though it's tune shaded I still want the specular look in there and the other thing I'm going to do is on here um, so I'm going to drop smooth right down to zero so hopefully this will give us a nice sharp and crisp image There we go, very sharp, maybe too sharp. I think I might be zoomed in slightly. There we go, so so we've got something a bit more like what we're looking for. Obviously this isn't perfect. Um, but one thing if you if you notice on that render, um, the the colour of the shadows may not quite be what you were after so one way that you can address that and have more customization is by using this ramp um, now what you want to do here is I've got a, a ramp that's just got two colors on it um, and, and it's just a, a linear ramp um, now the important bit here is that you change the, re the input, it's probably set to shader, you change that to result um, and that actually means that it will overwrite the colours, so almost this, this diffuse colour here ceases to matter um, so I change it to some blue colour <laughs> um, but the, the ramp is, is actually going to look at the, the values and as you can see on our, on our preview monkey head here um, it's actually going to ignore the diffuse value and set the ramp over the top and where it was shadow will now be something like the darker um, shades that you've put in and where it was was um, light it's going to use this lighter colour here um, and obviously you can play around with these, these different colours until you get something that you're really happy with um, let's just take a look at what that looks like
and there we go you can see now that the that the shadow color is is completely customized and I'm still working on this technique I think probably that that shadow around his nose there needs to be a bit more defined um, but yeah that's that's a general starting point and hopefully that will be useful to some of you